Brian with eFamily Tools and thank you for joining me. In this video I'd like to introduce you to our 2020 Kansas Child Support Calculator and give you a few tips on how to get started. I've already logged into my account and I'm at my main dashboard page. From here I'll click on the My Cases link on the left and then Case List. This will show a list of all of the cases that I've saved and from here we'll go ahead and open the my case and click the open button here. All of the case information is still saved. We'll do a quick spot check of all the information to make sure everything looks okay. And what we're interested in is the bottom link called forms and worksheets. And we'll see we have a worksheet here called My CS Worksheet that was created January 8th of 2019. We're going to go ahead and open that worksheet and update it for 2020. So the first thing we notice when opening the worksheet is a message at the top right that says the worksheet is out of date. That means that it was calculated and saved last using an older version of the calculator. If you'd like to retain the older version for comparison purposes, which is what we're going to do, uh, the first thing we need to do is scroll to the bottom and look for the clone button. Go ahead and click the clone button. And at the form entry, it'll ask you for a worksheet name. You can name it anything you like. We'll use uh, 2020 worksheet. And click the clone button. And then click to start using the new worksheet. Now that we're working on our new worksheet, we'll simply scroll to the bottom and click recalculate to recalculate using the latest 2020 calculations. We can see here that the payment information has changed and first thing we want to do is click save to make sure we've saved all these changes. And then simply close the acknowledge message. We now scroll to the top of the page. We see a message at the right indicating what version was used to calculate the worksheet. In this case it's 20.0.0 which is the latest version. So now we'd like to download a copy of the worksheet. So just click the download button at the very bottom and click the download now button. In a few seconds you should see a copy of the PDF worksheet appear and the first thing we note is the software version says 20.0.0 so we know this worksheet is correct. To download a copy of the previous worksheet we'll simply go back click on worksheets and we'll open the older MyCS worksheet created in 2019 and repeat the same steps. Click the download button at the bottom and download now. In a few seconds we'll have the older worksheet and we see that the software version is 19.0.0. So to make a quick comparison of the child support payment amounts, we can see here on the child support summary page the amount paid is $440 by party A And then on the very last page, we'll see Father has an obligation of $440. And at the bottom of the page, the footer indicates this is version 19.0.0. And to compare this, we'll look at the 2020 worksheet, and the amount goes to $376. And simply scroll to the bottom. To see that father, father's obligation is $376. And again at the bottom you should see that the indicated software version is 20.0.0. Well hopefully that helps get you started updating your older child support worksheets to the newer 2020 version. Should you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us. We're always here to help. And again thank you for joining us today on another eFamily Tools tutorial.